Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Daniel Biss of Rust Belt Rising. Well, good morning. That was okay. There we go. There we go. It is so great to be here. Thank you to new founders for including me. My name is Daniel Biss. I'm the executive director of Rust Belt Rising. And we are here to tell you that it's not just Donald Trump. Let's look, that wasn't really, that was like a please don't clap line actually. Let's look at 2018. 2018 was an incredible year for Democrats in Illinois. Like record breaking incredible. We elected, we elected a governor beating an incumbent by the biggest landslide by which any incumbent Illinois governor has ever lost. We picked up, we picked up two congressional districts and we have in the state house and state senate record breaking majorities. This was an incredible historic year for Democrats in Illinois and yet, and yet, if you look at what happened in Illinois outside the greater Chicago area, no gains in congressional seats, no gains in state Senate seats, and a net loss of a state House of Representatives seat. There is a political transformation happening right now across the Midwest and across this country. We saw it dramatized in an incredibly painful way in 2016, but it had been on the way for a long time before that. As the Democratic Party becomes more diverse, we've seen it grow and grow and grow in strengths, not just in the cities, but in suburbs. And we've seen a real weakening in rural areas, in small towns, even in medium-sized cities. Yes, across the Midwest and across the country. And this has sparked what I think might be the dumbest debate in the history of American democracy, which is the question of what are we supposed to do? Should we worry only about economic justice to fight for, let's say, working class white voters in communities where we're doing less well? Or should we lean in on racial justice and try to solidify and enhance our strengths in more diverse metropolitan areas? You guys, this is the dumbest question in the history of democracy because it is incoherent to even think about answering one or the other. Racial justice without economic justice means nothing, and economic justice without racial justice also means nothing. And so we at Rust Belt Rising are committed to training Democratic candidates across six pivotal Midwest states, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Indiana, Illinois, and Ohio training candidates in places where our strength has weakened, not training them how to sound more like Donald Trump, but training them how to sound more effectively like themselves, how in sounding more effectively like themselves, how to spread a progressive message in ways that can win, and how in so doing to build the party from the ground up. We are seeing talented, progressive people ready to light their communities on fire. They just need a little bit of help putting their campaigns to do it. I want y'all to meet my extraordinary coworker, Allie McRaith. She's here with me for much of this day. We are excited to partner with anyone. We are excited to introduce you to our remarkable candidates, and we are excited to make sure that we build the kind of diverse, strong, progressive, aggressive party to transform this country. Thank you very much. <laughs> 